permanent magnets are difficult things to understand. In fact, if we're absolutely honest with ourselves, we don't understand them. Imagine standing in front of a machine that seems to come alive the moment a current is switched on. A block of metal slides forward as if caught by an invisible river, gaining speed with no push from a human hand. This strange behaviour amazed viewers in the 1970s, and it still sparks curiosity today. That machine was part of Professor Eric Laithwaite's bold experiment, a device he called the Magnetic River. His idea challenged science, stunned audiences, and opened a door to a world where energy might flow endlessly. In this video, we explore his device and the future it might shape. The birth of a strange discovery. Professor Eric Laithwaite was already famous before the Magnetic River appeared. He was a British engineer with a bright mind and even brighter ideas. His work with linear induction motors changed transportation, inspired early maglev train designs, and made him a respected figure in engineering. Yet the Magnetic River turned him into something more. It made him a legend, but also a target. The first time he demonstrated it, he placed a small aluminum block on a track filled with magnets. When he turned on the current, the block did not hesitate. It jumped forward as if pulled by a force with purpose. It sped up. It floated. It behaved as though it had entered a flowing stream, even though there was no liquid in sight. The strangest part was how quickly it adapted. Once released, it matched the speed of the magnetic river almost instantly. Lathwaite then sprinkled iron filings across the setup. They arranged themselves into delicate walls, evenly spaced, as though following invisible blueprints. When he brushed them, they rose again and formed new walls. It was as if they were alive, sensing shapes no one else could see. These effects were more than demonstrations. They were clues. Lathwaite believed they revealed a hidden pattern inside magnetic fields, an ordered structure that traditional physics never fully explained. To him, the filings were not just reacting, they were communicating. They were drawing the map of a new kind of motion, one that might continue without stopping. The engine that fed on its own motion. The magnetic river depended on one key interaction. Magnets moving past coils. That movement created electrical currents. These currents created their own magnetic fields. And those new fields pushed the original magnets forward. It was a perfect loop of action and reaction. Lathwaite believed the loop could be optimized. In theory, the magnets would move, create current, and the current would feed motion. The device would reinforce itself step by step. Many scientists said this could never last. They argued that energy losses would always stop traffic. They pointed to friction, heat, and electrical resistance. But Lathwaite saw something different. He noticed patterns in the filings that suggested fields could align themselves in stable arrangements. If the system were built at a large scale with the right materials, he believed the losses could become negligible. He imagined turbines being replaced by silent loops, power stations replaced by magnetic rings, homes powered by clean fields that never burn fuel. He pushed the idea further, modifying the shapes of the magnets, testing new coil arrangements, and exploring better conductor materials. He published data, created prototypes, and even hinted at future designs he never built. Every experiment supported his belief that magnetic structures held a deeper secret, one that science had not yet unlocked. The war of ideas and the rise of a myth. When Lathwaite presented his device to leading scientists, the reaction was harsh. Some accused him of claiming perpetual motion. Others said he misunderstood physics. A few even suggested he had embarrassed himself. But the public had a different response entirely. They saw a possibility. They saw a scientist brave enough to ask questions others avoided. Over time, the magnetic river took on a mythic quality. People whispered that Lathwaite had discovered a new natural law. Others said his work was suppressed because it threatened powerful industries. Whether these stories were true or not, they kept the idea alive for decades. As technology advanced, the myth grew stronger. New materials like rare earth magnets, high efficiency coils, and improved modeling software made engineers rethink old limits. The world entered a new era of energy challenges. Fossil fuels strained the planet. Renewable sources struggled with storage and consistency. 
Suddenly, ideas that once seemed impossible started to feel necessary. Young researchers found Lathwaite's work online and began recreating his demonstrations. Some succeeded, some improved them. Even though no full-scale magnetic river existed, the small experiments kept the legend alive. They suggested Lathwaite may have been closer to a breakthrough than anyone realized. Imagining the world of 2025 powered by magnetic rivers. Picture a world only a few years from now. A world where Lathwaite's idea is not just a memory, but a functioning system. The magnetic river becomes a modular device that can power entire neighborhoods. Its components require no fuel deliveries. They produce no smoke, no waste, no noise. They run day and night without weather interruptions. In this imagined 2025, cities build energy stations based on magnetic loops. Factories rely on them because they provide stable and inexpensive electricity. Rural towns adopt them to escape failing grids. Remote islands use them to replace diesel generators. Families install smaller versions at home, reducing energy bills to almost nothing. Environmental impacts are dramatic. Air quality improves as old power plants shut down. Rivers no longer suffer from warm water discharge. Wildlife thrives as landscapes once carved by pipelines begin to heal. The magnetic river becomes a symbol of renewal. Economies transform. Energy becomes an abundant resource rather than a costly one. Industries expand because power is cheap. New companies emerge to maintain and build magnetic systems. Jobs shift but do not disappear. They evolve. The world adopts a new rhythm fueled by fields instead of flames. Yet even in this future, challenges remain. Regulations must protect communities. The manufacturing of magnets must be sustainable. Old energy industries may resist change, but step by step, the magnetic river spreads. It becomes the quiet force behind a cleaner world. The long road to acceptance and the new generation of thinkers. For the magnetic river to move from myth to reality, knowledge must spread. In this imagined future, universities teach Lathwaite's experiments as part of engineering programs. Students learn how the filings formed walls, how aluminum slipped across fields, and how magnetic forces shape patterns invisible to the eye. Scientists worldwide are joining the effort. They refine the mathematics behind field interaction. They discover new alloys for coils and improved ceramics for insulation. High-speed computers simulate the behavior of large-scale magnetic rivers, exploring designs Lathwaite never lived to see. Governments invest in research. Private companies compete to build the first commercial device. Startups explore how magnetic rivers could power transport systems, water treatment plants, and data centers. The technology becomes a global challenge, like the race for flight or the early days of electricity. Social concerns also enter the discussion. Workers moving from fuel-based industries face uncertain futures. Policymakers focus on fair transitions. Communities decide how magnetic power should be shared. The world begins to understand that energy is not just a technical issue, it is a human one. Through it all, Lathwaite's name returns to the spotlight. His once controversial lecture became a symbol of curiosity. His experiments inspire documentaries, textbooks, and debates. The Magnetic River becomes one of the most intriguing scientific stories of modern times. The hidden research and the unfinished blueprints. As interest grows, researchers uncover documents from Lathwaite's early career. Notes filled with sketches, formulas, and half-completed designs. Some drawings show loops far larger than anything he built. Others hint at multi-layer systems stacked like spirals. A few pages describe field behavior in ways that resemble modern simulations. Engineers recreate these designs digitally. They find that some of Lathwaite's ideas were far ahead of his time. With modern materials, the systems behave differently than they did in the 1970s. New harmonics appear in the simulations. Unexpected patterns emerge. 
Some results even align with Lathwaite's most ambitious predictions. International teams begin testing experimental loops built from rare earth magnets and high-efficiency coils. The devices exhibit unusual behavior, including stable motion at surprisingly low power. The tests attract attention from governments, investors, and research institutions. The possibility arises that Lathwaite never finished his work. Not because it failed, but because the world lacked the tools needed to complete it. His magnetic river may have been a rough doorway to a much larger field of study. And now, decades later, humanity finally has the technology to pass. This chapter becomes the most exciting part of the modern magnetic river story. It combines science with mystery. It suggests that the future might hold discoveries that Lathwaite himself never reached, yet always believed were possible. Professor Eric Lathwaite dreamed of a world powered by fields instead of flames. His magnetic river was more than an experiment. It was a challenge to everything we assumed about energy. Today, his idea lives on in research labs, classrooms, and the imagination of people who still believe bold discoveries can reshape our world. Whether the magnetic river becomes a true power source or remains a symbol of exploration, its legacy endures. It reminds us to stay curious, to question limits, and to trust that even the strangest ideas may lead to something extraordinary. The story continues, and the future waits.